reference in your query file folder. This is exactly the same that you will do when you are in Excel, right? So um, I said data, get data from file, from folder. I go to desktop, demo, 2022, November 5th, and PDF is the folder where my files are. And I'm going to say open. Once I'm here, same thing, Power Query will show me the content of that uh, folder. This is correct. I'm going to transform data. Once I'm here, I can see the content of that file. And here is where my directory or my path is uh, located. So I'm going to delete that. And instead of that, I'm going to say my location live. My location live. And I'm going to say enter. Nothing changes here. But now I have this information or this uh, query connected to this text. Right? I could have said also my path and same thing. It would be connected to the information that is provided here. So I'm going to go back to my query. And now I can start with the transformations. The file or the content of this file, this information is coming as binary. Here is the name of the files. And I have the extension and much more information here on the right, the, the folder path, etc. What I want to do, I just want to work with these two columns. So once I have this information, I created my new step. I'm going to say equal. And what I want to do, I want to transform this column content. So I'm going to say table transform columns here. I'm going to open parentheses. I just want to ask me for a table. The table is coming from the previous step that is called filter open. That's fine. That is this table that I'm seeing. I'm going to say comma. I need to provide the transformation that I want to, to perform in this column. And I need to provide this as list. So for Power Query, to provide a list is providing the curly brackets. Once I provide that, I need to provide the name of the column that I want to transform. So I'm going to say the table, the column is the, table, the column content, comma. And why do I want to do inside of that? Column. So, well, I want Power Query to process the following. So, I'm going to give the keyword each. Each is a keyword for a function. So, it, it needs to process the following, right? So, it's going to process that for every single item that I'm going to have in this table, right? So, I'm going to say each, and I want to bring the information from the PDF file. So, I just type PDF, and then I get PDF.tables. That's the one that I want to use. I'm going to open parentheses, and I'm going to provide the underscore. That means that Power Query needs to look into every single line of this column content. So I'm going to go uh, close the parentheses, close the curly brackets for the operation or the transformation. And I'm going to close the parentheses for the table uh, transform columns. And I'm going to press Enter. Now, it changed from binary. It changed to a table. Here, I can see that now I, I have the content of those PDF files. So I have pages and I have tables. In this case, I bring the tables. Uh, and most cases, you will bring the tables. There will be uh, times where the, the pages will give you the more the information that you need than the table. But in my experience, most of the cases, the tables have the information that I need. For that reason, I want to make sure that I bring only the tables. I don't want both because it will double the information. It will bring the information in as a page and as a table. So I don't want that. So I want to make sure that I'm going to bring only the information that comes from the table. I can filter that. So and I'm going to use the same, um, the same step here, and let me see if it allows me, just in case. Um, if I remember correctly, it allows me. So after here, the part of the transformation, I'm going to say uh, uh, Shift Enter, and I'm going to move this a little bit to the right. So to move it to the right, I press Control and the square bracket, uh, the closing uh, square bracket, so indent a little bit. And from here, I'm going to say that I want uh, I want table, select rows. So I want to select the row, only a specific rows. And select rows uh, here. I need to provide a table. Well, the table is the content in here that is coming from the PDF tables here, right? And I'm gonna just move this one down below. And I want this is my table. And what is my condition? Well, my condition is each. I want to process the following, right? So I want to bring only um, those items. From the column kind, from this column kind, I want to bring only the items that are equal table. So I'm going to say equal, and within quotation marks, table, uh, table. And because I'm referring to a column, I need to provide the square brackets. And I think close parentheses for that. And let's see if it works, if I provided it this correctly. Excellent. Now you can see if I click in this white area from the table, now you can see that I have only the tables in every single file. I don't have the pages anymore. That is exactly what I want. So when I expand this, it will bring only those tables, right? So I don't have to make any other um, cleaning or other filter later on. I can do it from here. So now I have this uh, ready. Let's click at these two 
a row that I have on the top of the column. Let's click there and expand only the data column. And why do I want that? Because here, when you look at this information, this column data is the one that has the tables inside. So for that reason, I'm going to just click there. And I don't want to use the original name as a prefix. Let me see. I don't want to be on the way. So I uh, just want to see that you, you can see my screen correctly. What about here? Excellent. Yes. Okay. Now, data, I select that column. is the only one that I want to expand, let's say. So I click there. And now I can see that that information is here. So every single table will bring, a, uh, sorry, every single line will bring a table. File 2 has two tables. One has a specific amount of columns, and the second one has more columns, right? So, and here I can see that file 2 has two lines is because it has two different tables, one with eight columns and the second one with more than one. Perfect. Now, uh, let me rename this um, custom step. So I'm going to use F2, press F2. And this is the one I said I want to expand, uh, filter tables. Tables, and now here I expanded data. 